Hey, it's your boy CryptoX back live, back with another video. In this video, we're going to do uh, these uh, steps to get qualified for this uh, potential airdrop. And the project was called Kinto. So they raised a bunch of money. We're going to go through the steps. Uh, doesn't take long. So let's roll that intro and let's get in the video. Kinto, the layer two for finance, safe, decentralized, and KYC compliant. Kinto is a first KYC layer two. Uh, this is like Ethereum layer uh, on Ethereum, capable of supporting both modern financial institutions and decentralized protocols. So it's kind of like, well, why would you want to get KYC on um, layer two? The biggest benefit is, uh, I mean, GitHub, oh, sorry, Gitcoin already has that. Um, but I guess the biggest benefit is, um, you know, once you uh, get KYC, um, you don't have to actually reveal your uh, your identity to new projects that um, need some sort of regulatory compliance. Um, they can just kind of like integrate with a uh, um, protocol like Kinto because you've already been KYC'd and then they can just basically give you the nod. So you have been KYC'd. But the project that needs uh, people KYC'd, seed, um, they don't. You don't actually have to reveal your identity to the new projects. This happened. Um, this was an issue that we saw with uh, a lot of ICOs back in two thousand seventeen and eighteen and nineteen. Um, these projects needed KYC, seed, so they had to go through the whole process, and it was very expensive. So they either they had to use a third party or um, they had to do it themselves. And every time that you wanted to join an ICO, you had to basically give up your um, identity if you wanted to participate. And that was kind of an issue because if you joined 100 um, K uh, ICOs, you had to give your identity to 100 different projects. Whereas the benefit of this is you, you only got to give your identity to one project, like a particular like Kinto, and then they would integrate with their protocol uh, to verify that you're KYC. Like, a bit like Gitcoin, all right? They, they do a similar, like, with their Git paths, you know? You're not handing out <laughs> your credentials all over the internet. Um, you essentially only got to do it once, and then um, your, uh, the, your privacy is protected there, except you're, uh, you're actually already verified, if that makes sense. Um, so I can see, I can definitely see the value of this, um, even though it's kind of a contradiction, right? <laughs> Why would you give up your uh, information and it's supposed to be crypto, right? That's kind of like the um, oxymoron there. Uh, so you yeah, have a read of the uh, pr project. Um, you can see here, uh, this is kind of like an article, um, blockchain startup, Kinto plans, first KYC, Ethereum, layer two uh, network. Uh, after raising five million, and they do have uh, a bunch of investors here: Spartan Group, uh, Parify Capital, Robot Ventures, and a bunch of other smaller ones here. So they have, you know, they've gathered the funds to build this out. So they have about five million dollars. So that's always um, comforting to know that at least they're going to build something uh, real here. So how do you do it? You just come here, click the link below in the description and you'll get to this page, right? And then just go go um, join, all right? And then once you do that, you just click get started. There's in this phase, this they call it the rescue phase. Um, there's uh, three days, 19 hours, 58 minutes left. So depending on when you want to uh, see this video, you know, you've got three days or so after this phase is done get started um and then create your account so okay so now you have to enter your email which is like the security pin of your windows um so what i might do is i'll go through the process and i'll be back in a tick yeah do you just need to enter the email address that is associated with your windows um operating system and um once you do that then uh it'll prompt you to come to this next screen if you're not sure just go through the um process that you forgot your passphrase uh, or passkey um, so now I'm going to get the verification code um, to proceed to the next um, step okay so now um, you need to identify you identify uh, an individual or corporation uh, I'm an individual 
Okay, so now you're going to have to uh, go through this KYC process. It looks like um, it looks like a kind of like a camera kind of thing. Um, so I'll do this now, and I'll be back in a tick. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, you have to do like the face thing. Um, it just you can do it only through your phone or through the um, um, computer, and if you've got a, a laptop, a computer, or a PC camera, and then you have to move to and from like kind of get the distance right and then it kind of measures your face and then it tells you to hold and you know, you, you may have done this before and then it um, it takes a snapshot and then it says yes or no or retry or whatever right so I, I did it twice um, now I'm going to have to uh, capture my official document for my ID and my proof of address so um, I might uh, come back in a second I might do those things because they're pretty self explanatory and then I'll be back in a second okay so I've done the um Face recognition, which was instant, pretty much instantly. I've done the uh, passport. I did a passport for identity. You can, you can do like passport, um, national ID, you know, all those sort of standard things. Um, so I've got that that has been done. And then now um, I did my address, which was the um, proof of address. So you, you know, a utility bill, bank statement, um, that sort of thing, right? Um, so this is going to take 24 hours to process. So you just go finish and then, um, uh, it's going to take a while to do this, right? So you have to come back in 24 hours. So like I said, there's three days left, um, referral code in the meantime, refer friends. Um, so you can use my referral link, um, if you want to, um, for the first, if you're doing this for the first time and you've never done something like this before, um, to be honest, uh, yes, you are giving up your details and you're giving it to um, you know, a project um, that that is you know reputable and that, that has uh, you know the proper uh, people, uh, accredited investors behind them and, and that so forth. So the risk is you know your identity is going to be could go uh, on the internet, uh, but just like I've been, I've done. ICOs like over two, three hundred ICOs, and I've never had a problem with my identity so far. Um, and I gave up my identity to a lot of these really, um, the projects never went anywhere. So, my identity's out there somewhere. Um, so that's why I like a project like this because you, you've just got to get verified once with a, with a project like Keto, and then your identity can be verified a hundred, a thousand times without actually giving up your identity to the new project because it's on, it's like it's secure, right? So that's why I like this. It's not a big deal to be honest with me. Um, it may be for some people not giving up their privacy, but these days um, there has to be some sort of uh, recourse or accountability um, because there's so many scammers out there. And um, so it's just one of those things that... Um, it might come into the crypto space more often. We might see it more often. Um, you know, with that said, without making this video too long, I'm now seeing a lot of these projects um, uh, to, you know, weed out a lot of these people. Um, these projects are now asking you for this Git, Git, uh, Gitcoin, uh, the GitHub coin, uh, was it Gitcoin pass? And th they were kind of like the original guys. And it's like a passport. And to get this passport, you need like 20 points and you need to go through all this, uh, give grants, um, give up your, uh, show your identity, show your Ethereum, um, sort of. So, so that's basically what they're trying to do here. It's very similar to a Git, Git coin. Um, but they're doing it on a layer too, all right, with Ethereum. So it's nothing new. Um, but what they're doing, but my point is with this Git coin, Git card thing, um, a lot of these projects are now saying, you know, you need to put, you need a, you need a twenty point Git coin or Git password um, at, to access our project. This is the password here, right? So if you don't have twenty points, you're not going to be eligible for these airdrops or for our project. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it weeds out a lot of these scammers, and it only gets real people um, that um, actually contribute and. Uh, you can use my referral code if you want to go through this process to get uh, qualified for this um, potential airdrop. All right, guys, uh, I'll do a video soon.
um, to follow up this video. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.